national championships. Uh, I want to say it was just yesterday, but now it's been years. Just what is time anymore? But yes, very true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it was at 2019. Uh, came out on the stage rocking a choice band headband. Yep. yep. The infamous scene. That was so great. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Emery representing the U.S. and then Jack uh, representing the U.K. Uh, and yeah, as you saw on the screen, we're going to see that Ice Rider Calyrex oh, VMAX yes, pairing. Absolutely. We, we are still going to see uh, Palkia, sorry, but it's oh, with Ice okay. Rider. Oh, okay, another Palkia, yes, yeah, <laughs> except we have Ice Rider. So this is actually going to be a pretty fun matchup to watch, I think. Ice Rider has been a deck that uh, I've actually been playing for a long time, um, ever since it was like not the best deck. Yeah. And then it's kind of made its way uh, up in the ranks. And to see Jack, I guess, being. 2-0 uh, with it at yep. this point is really awesome, actually. Uh, you kind of you kind of oofed there, Kyle, at the prize card. Yeah. What were you looking at? Uh, double Genesect V prize for Emery. Oh, no. He's playing that Mew VMAX deck, which is really centralized around using that Fusion Strike system from the Genesect V, and you want to have, you know, sometimes three or even four in play. Hard to do that when half of them are prized. <laughs> yeah, that is very unfortunate. Um, but here we go. We are starting off on Emery's side here. We did see uh, one other Mew be played, so somewhat familiar on the stream. The Battle VIP Pass, one of the staples go. in this deck, and we are going to see it on that turn one <laughs> for Emery Taylor. You love to see it when you are playing any deck that plays Battle VIP Pass, uh, searching out two basic Pokemon. I'm sure Emery now realizing, uh-oh, I'm uh, seeing two Genesects here. Yeah, where's, all the, <laughs> where's, the, uh, the, the, where's metal, the rest? The metal Pokemon, where those go? <laughs> yeah, where's, uh, where's the rest here? So uh, <laughs> seeing that, I'm sure already making out the strategy around that or uh, at least noticing it as well. So we are going to see those two Genesects down. Luckily, it's not three. That would be very unfortunate to kind of only only choose one Genesect. And I'm sure Jack would be like, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's going on here? So <laughs> at least we have two down now. So we are going to see the quick fall discarding an escape rope, searching out another basic Pokemon, uh, opting for the Mew V there to hit the bench as well. Of course, uh, the more fusion strike Pokemon and play, the more cards you get to draw. So it's very important to get a pretty solid setup really for any deck, but especially this Mew VMAX, because if there's any point in time where you are shut down from a path to the peak and you uh, are not able to use your abilities to draw into cards, you're in a very uh, difficult situation if you can't play out of it. Yep. And Mew VMAX is an interesting deck. It's certainly one of the most notorious decks we've had over the past yes, year. Yes, definitely. Uh, For a couple of different people, reasons. Yeah, yeah, lots of people just hate playing against this deck <laughs> because the turns take so long. Genesect draws so many cards. Uh, and it really was the defining deck for a long time. But, you know, as we've noted a lot of times, it's actually struggled to really win a major event once we've returned back to in-person play. I uh, don't know if it's even picked up a regional championship victory. He didn't win an nope. international. And a lot of people are wondering, is this finally it? Is this it won in Australia and then never again. Yes, that's yeah, right. That was it. Um, and now people are wondering, is this finally the time for Mew VMAX to, to take the world championships? Maybe we're at oh, the point wow. where people have just forgotten about it or they're, you know, we're not seeing as many darkness type Pokemon to counter this deck anymore. Is this the time for people to swoop in and be like, yeah, I'm still playing the Fusion Strike deck. Maybe it's time to finally catch a lucky break and you know, have a strong showing at Worlds. That would be wild, Kyle. It wins the first event of the season and then the last event oh, of the season. Yeah. That, would be, that would be quite po poetic, actually. All right, so we are over on Jack's side now getting a setup here. So Ice Rider uh, in the active, Ice Rider V and a Sobble down as well. Off of, I think the quick ball was for that Sobble. Yep. Um, so what do you think, I feel like, what do you think about this matchup, Kyle, as far as like favoring goes? I mean, Ice Rider, I'm sure is going into this knowing I can beat Mew. You know, if, you're, if your deck can't beat Mew, you're kind of in a difficult <laughs> position, doing? yeah. <laughs> so I, I assume that Jack has cards here to be able to favor uh, this matchup toward Ice Rider versus Mew. What do you think, uh, what do you think that is? It's really tricky. Um 
I think the I ooh, well, it, it helps ooh. to have a better start than that. That's all. Yeah, that's that even much. more tricky there. <laughs> uh. um, Ice Rider historically has been pretty bad against Mu V Max. Now the Palkia adds in a whole new angle, so uh, Very true. it's hard to tell. I would suspect that the Palkia is actually the better attacker in the matchup. Uh, mm -hmm. Just the Ice Rider giving up the three prize cards, and it's not that much more difficult to knock out compared to a Palkia. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. There's opportunities with, you know, Choice Belt and Leon usually gets played in these decks. You can hit up to 310 to knock out a Mew Max, but we actually see Emery has the Oricorio, which will reduce the damage oh, by 20. Oh, okay, there we go. So even that, like, two-hit knockout, or the one-hit knockout option isn't available to the Ice Rider. So I really think... You know, we might see the Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX come in and attack every once in a while, but it's really going to be centered around Palkia, I would imagine. Yeah, and, be, and being forced to start it with that yeah. Ice Rider is, uh, I'm and sure, not, not the best situation. getting a Palkia down turn one and then also, pretty much yeah, a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> attaching to the Sobble, that's really your only choice there. Um, yeah, this is not a, a very good setup here for Jack, unfortunately, especially when you're staring down, you know, a Mu VMAX deck that pretty much popped off turn one as it usually does, I should yep. say. You know, even with two Genesex being prized for Emery, just gliding through this deck still, uh, quick balling out that battle VIP pass. You know, a lot of players choose to, uh, or I've seen, have chosen to cut the Ori Corio, and a lot of players have kept it. So uh, obviously Emery opting to keep it, and that's definitely going to help in this matchup, as Kyle explained uh, earlier, just reducing yep. that damage. And so then with the uh, power tablet power there, tab. and Kind of canceling wow. out the reduction from the double turbo, just quick two prize knockout. And if I'm Jack here, I am seriously considering just conceding the game. This is so hard to come back from with this deck. That is very difficult. The battle VIP pass, was that the top deck, Kyle? <laughs> I feel like that, I mean, that it had to have been the top deck. Yeah, that's, that's so unfortunate to see. Uh, but we are going to see Jack opting to stay in this for now. Uh, the Ultra Ball discarding two cards and grabbing any Pokemon out of the deck here for Jack. So just searching through, seeing what's in there, seeing what can I do. Uh, just losing that two prize cards on uh, turn two, really, for Emery, which just showcases the absolute aggressive power of Mew VMAX. Yeah, and you can afford to give up that two-prize knockout on turn two, but you need to have a return attack yes, lined yes. up. The problem here is you need to have a Pokemon V in play to then evolve into the V-Star or the V-Max, and since Jack didn't get down a Palkia or another Ice Rider, there's just no good attacking option this turn. So Emery's going to then go ahead, maybe a third or even a four-prize card lead, mm -hmm. and then, I mean, how do you come back from that? You just have to assume that the... Mew VMAX deck will be able to clean up the game from there. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think in our other match we saw, um, and, and Ross and Joe talked about, you know, the importance of even having two Palkias okay, down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there okay. we go. Just, yep, no no point in playing this one out. Yeah, <laughs> might as well just uh, and, uh, test our luck. Hopefully things go a little bit better that time. Jack is going to be able to choose whether or not uh, they want to go first or second. I would assume first, and, uh, but I guess we, I we shall see what happens here uh, yeah. for Jack, but I, I feel like it'd be first, well. and hoping for that battle VIP pass, Kyle. Yep. That is what we want to see for <laughs> Jack to have an explosive turn one potentially, which is of course yeah, what you want to see for both of these players' down. decks. I'm sure Emery feeling uh, pretty good. I mean, 42 minutes is what we're at right now, and already yep. taking game one. I'm sure feeling uh, very good after that. I, I did see a lot of Mew VMAX out there, and it's you know, it kind of dwindled, dwindled down a little bit for players and has made a huge resurgence here on uh, our world stage, even because because of its consistency. You know, at the base, Mew VMAX is a very consistent deck. The Fusion Strike uh, ability is, or sorry, the Fusion System ability is just so powerful There's and the, the aggressive really, right? uh, attacks as well, you know, the options for the Meloettas, uh, the Elisa Sparkle. There's just so many options that you have to be able to take very heavy knockouts uh, early on in the game. So as long as you can just kind of um, overpower your opponent, you're in a very good position. And that's exactly what we saw happen, unfortunately, for Jack, because uh, 
if they have any sort of inconsistency issues in their deck and they have a, a turn one that they're kind of on the back foot, they're looking at a detrimental uh, situation that they're in. So here we go. We are seeing the prize cards now for both players. What are you thinking, Kyle? Uh, not too bad. Two power Two tablets. Power tabs. That actually yeah. is pretty bad. Yeah, and a pretty fusion bad. strike energy. <laughs> yeah, those are some rough prizes for Emery. That's a little rough. Um, but yeah, we're going to kick things off win game number two. Yeah, Jack did That's choose to go first in this one. And yeah, I think one of the things that is a big factor in this matchup is actually who goes first. Yeah, um, definitely. There can be a huge difference in what attacks <laughs> the players are able to pull off, um, whether or not they go first or second. Like we saw how easily Emery was just able to knock out a V on turn two because Emery went first and you know got to do all their stuff and then got to evolve first and that was that. Uh, so we'll see if the kind of tempo or any, any of this changes when Jack gets to go first. At least, I mean, if you are forced to go second on, on uh, Jack's behalf, you can at least uh, potentially Irida if it's in hand for a, a battle VIP too. Yeah. So you do have options there if you do have to go second, but yeah, definitely uh, opting to go first here is I think the uh, the better move. So searching out that Radiant Greninja with a quick ball discarding that water energy, uh, just popping it right into the discard pile. Uh, two capacious buckets are already in there, so <laughs> that's a lot of energy we got there <laughs> going on. So uh, at least we, are, we, we have the draw support now from Radiant Greninja at the very least, uh, and drawing off of that concealed cards into that origin form Palkia. Was it also the Sobble or was that already in hand, Kyle? I'm not sure, but either way. Either way, sure, that's good. <laughs> sure, happy to see those. There's also yes. a quick ball in hand. So yeah, look, this is an excellent start. Get a second Pokemon V down. I would assume yep. a second Palkia. Again, that is probably the better attacker in the matchup. And you really want to make sure you're able to use Star Portal when, when you need to. This is um, kind of the opposite of the last match we saw where, you know, one deck was really slow and trying to set up this like ultimate position. This is just fast paced, power up your Pokemon as fast as you can, just hit as hard as you can, take those knockouts. Yeah, two, two similar strategies, uh, just two different decks here. So we did see that origin form at Palkia uh, for multiple reasons, as Kyle just listed, but especially, you know, recovery options, the ability to use the star portal uh, ability as well to get those energies out. And we are back over to Emery with the battle VIP pass on Emery's Emery side. Emery must have one of those VIP badges for this weekend. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Rocking it out there, given, given the good luck here yeah. with the battle VIPs. So always what you want to see, I'm sure, when, you, when it's in your opening hand, you're just like, oof. That's great, you know? <laughs> so searching through here. Unfortunately for Emery, you know, last prize cards in the last game were two Genesect. Yeah. Now we see two power tablets, you know, very crucial cards in this deck, and they're in the prizes for Emery. But obviously that can get turned around real quick if we do start seeing that early aggression uh, from the Mew VMAX getting those knockouts here. Meloetta is currently in the active here right now for Emery, and we are still searching out those Pokemon to put on the bench, uh, kind of deciding, Oricorio, do I want Genesect? Going for the Genesect there. Ooh. Yeah, do I want Mew? There's uh, so many options here, but I think uh, getting that Genesect here, and there's a lot more, um, a lot more cards in hand. Oh, wow. Yeah, just trying That's to figure like out what sequence to play ball. things in. How, how many cards can I discard uh, Quick Ball and Ultra Ball? Trying to fill up the bench. You know, just trying to plot things out. Uh, the worst feeling is when you're like, all right, yeah, I'll play Ultra Ball. And then, oh boy, I didn't have enough cards to discard. And it just ruins yes. your whole turn. So it makes sense to slow down. Like, how many cards do I actually have to throw away? How do I do this optimally? Yeah, definitely. Uh, especially, I, you know, I, I feel like the throughout this entire season, the Mew VMAX players are always the ones that play the fastest, in my <laughs> experience, Kyle. They they move quick. Yeah. Um, I think it's a part of a, the mental strategy, you know, <laughs> like the uh, psychological warfare there. You know, I'm doing so many actions and I'm I'm throwing things down and I'm getting aggressive real quick. Yeah, that card needs to go oh, on top sorry. of the deck. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. So <laughs> the that'd be a much different card if you just got to draw it. 
Yes. Okay, so the Rotom phone we saw there uh, searching from, I believe it's the top five yep. cards and then choosing one, putting it at the top. Uh, we saw the Rose Tower come down for Emery, which then allows the draw up to three. So we did see that card off the Rotom phone just get pulled. And then we are going to see now a Genesect, the first fusion really? ability here. Interesting and the second. attachment. Decides to go to the benched Mu V uh, instead of going to the active Meloetta. So if Emery wants to attack this turn, well, I just don't think it's going to happen. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to attack with a Mu V just to knock out a Manaphy, because then for sure uh, Palkia V Star is going to knock out your Mu. So Emery, I think, basically just saying, I'm not going to attack this turn. Yeah, I guess that, that's true. Putting the Oricorio out there, though, off of the Ultra Ball, um, so is going to have that, uh, that damage help there. That del I want to say delayed damage, but I guess it's just uh, slightly less damage that uh, Emery's going to be taking now. And then just passing over, like Kyle said, back to Jack here. Yeah, Oricorio is really interesting in this matchup. Uh, yeah. It lets you put down an extra Pokemon so you can draw more with Fusion Strike system. Uh, but then when it comes to the subspace swell, it kind of cancels, cancels out. out. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you get an extra card off all your Fusion Strike systems without increasing the damage for Palkia. That's very true. Um, which, I mean, I guess is, is kind of what you want to do. Uh, I mean, Jack probably knowing I'm going to be playing against Mew, which has to uh, bench a ton of Pokemon as well. It's probably slightly uh, favorable in that sense, too. So, And then I'm sure feeling in, uh, feeling like they're in a pretty good position at this point now, yeah. seeing that first turn for Emery not to be as explosive, especially as the last game, and then kind of being able to pop off here on their own, too, with the Irida uh, being able to search out a water Pokemon and an item card as well. So the, the origin form of Palkia V-Star coming down here for that water Pokemon and then just deciding what to go to for that item card. Yeah, it looks like probably a level ball. Grab a Drizzile. Uh, that looks like escape an escape rope. rope. Ooh, interesting. That is interesting. What would be the escape rope? Target here. Okay, yeah. so uh, I also don't know what is in Jack's hand either at this point. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I guess now we're seeing it. Okay, so we are going to see the escape rope be played. So Emery has to choose what to promote here off of the escape rope, and then I, Jack will also choose. I imagine it's. Oh, I thought I was going to say Oracle. I was going to say that too, Kyle. Give up the one prize, but it looks like Emery wow. really values uh, having. The Oricorio. Okay. So we are kind of debating here. But there we go. Escape roping. Uh, Emery choosing the Mew V here, and then Jack promoting into that origin form of Palkia V, which is now evolving into the V Star. Uh, benching that Ice Rider Calyrex, so that is going to add to the damage output for that subspace swell. A very difficult attack name to say several times. Yes, quickly. yeah, that is a. <laughs> I almost uh, messed that one up, but we, we caught it, so we're good. <laughs> but, uh, uh, definitely quick. Does Jack have another energy card? I am. I I would have assumed so with this line of play, but now I, I'm not seeing one in hand. Okay, there's okay, plenty in the go. discard. Yeah, yeah there's right, there is a. Yeah, okay. I was saying, we saw so many capacious buckets. Yeah. So like, there's no way. So I was there like, there's no way he's going to do all this and then not attack. That would be absolutely <laughs> wild. So we are going to see that ability go into the portal. What did you say, Kyle? Go into the portal yeah. right now. Head into the star portal. The star portal. <laughs> so attaching three water energy. Sounds like a fun place to go. I don't know. The star portal? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, from the discard pile onto the board state. So two onto that origin form Palkia V-Star. One onto the Ice Rider. Calyrex V on the bench and then taking that knockout. Kyle on Rises. the view V. I guess we'll see if Emery um, regrets that later on in this match, depending on how, how things go. But I'm curious to see what the uh, line of play is from here for Emery. We're now over on to their turn. And it looks like just looking at the hand, deciding what do we want to do here. I see yes. the. This is a really difficult position for Emery. Um, the roles have basically reversed from the first game. Now Jack's got the first two prize knockout. Emery's kind of on the back foot. And with the fourth Fusion Strike Energy prized, it's really difficult for Emery to get a knockout here. Usually your ideal thing here would be 
get all four Fusion Strike energy in play, use Meloetta's attack for 280, get a knockout, but with that last one prized, just has to attack for not quite a knockout. And Jack's gonna get another knockout. Um, yeah, it's not looking great for Emery this time around, especially with that pass to the peak, which um, Emery doesn't have a counter for, so can't use any of those Fusion Strike systems. I feel like this game's gonna be over just as quickly as the first one, but the other way around this time. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing, Kyle. I mean, <laughs> at least it's interesting that we get to see both of these decks uh, and their advantages and disadvantages. You know, they always say in Pokemon, the, the first turn is very, especially in this format, is so critical to the rest of the game. And you can see that pretty heavily in both of these games here for both of these players. So Jack, I'm sure, feeling in a much more stable position, especially compared to last game. Evolving into the Drizzile now, uh, activating that Shady Dealings mm -hmm. ability. Searching out the boss, straight to the boss, bossing up that Mew V, putting Emery now into a very, very tough position. Uh, you hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. If, we're, if, you're, if you're Jack, you love to see it, though. That's very true. <laughs> Mew fans in shambles, Origin Form Palkia <laughs> players happy. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we are going to see that knockout. Jack going down, only two right. prize Ooh. cards left the cram. Uh. Oh, we don't get to see it. Oh. And it's a heads. It's there we go. Cramomatic <laughs> for Emery there. I yep. love I love Even watching Rose those Tower. flips. Yeah, of course, definitely. Bumping that path to the peak <laughs> that is locking the abilities right now is so important for Emery here. But but Kyle, where does Emery go from here? Well, let's start with three cards from Rose Tower. That's a good start. Um, There's another stadium too. <laughs> yeah, the Pokestop, new card from the Pokemon Go expansion. Yeah, I don't really know. You can just kind of hope your opponent doesn't have uh, another V-Star. Maybe it works out for you. Uh, <laughs> Jack's hand hasn't been too strong. Had to use the shady dealings just for a boss's order. So, you know, if you knock out this active, there's a chance that there's no follow-up Palkia on the next turn, and that's kind of got to be your hope at this point. But... Um, yeah, I, I think the silver lining for Emery is that the first game went by so fast, so you can afford to just, you know, play it out, see if you get lucky somehow in this next game, and if not, you're going to still have plenty of time to finish the third game. Yeah, I mean, we're at uh, 28, like around 29 yeah. minutes right now, so I definitely agree with that for sure. So uh, there was the Elisa's Sparkle here. Yep, that failed. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it uh, failed, unfortunately. Uh, as we said before, those two fusion energy are in the prize cards. I think Emery grabbed that last one there off the prize cards. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's the one. So one is in play. Well, two yeah, now. There's one in, in the discard, one in the active, two one in play. Yes, two in last, play and one in the discard. The last one. We're allocating our fusion prize. energy right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. we're at the point, though, where, you know, the fusion strike energy they're really powerful when you have all of them in play for yes. Meloetta's attack. But once once your Pokemon get knocked out and a couple of them start hitting the discard, then they're not quite as important. Then you follow yep. up with the double turbo energy to power up Mew and go from there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely dwindles down there. So we do have the origin form Palkia V, which I assume is about to turn oh, yeah. into a V-Star here. Everything's for fine Jack. for Jack. Yeah, Evolution in Sense, that was in hand. Uh, yeah, grabbing the, the Shady Dealings and Teleon potentially yep. as well. Uh, searching into work. even more cards, choosing what to decide with here. That is only an Origin Form Palkia V, so uh, in order to go with the V-Star, you'd have to be able to evolve into it. But I do see the Evolution Incense here and a boss. There's an Evolution energy that incense. is game over, I think. Yeah, it looks like that's how it's going. Yep, go. there's the energy. Woo, Jack <laughs> taking a very strong second game here, going to one to one yeah. today, Kyle. He loves to see it. Complete reversal of the first game. This time, Jack just came out the gate swinging, got two prize knockouts. I think that game only took four turns, just knocked out three Vs wow. in a row. That's, that's wild. I feel like those, <laughs> those felt like four long turns. <laughs> I mean, like as we always say though, I mean, when you have two, uh, 
two decks that are drawing so many cards, though. I mean, we have the Shady Dealings and Tally Online, where you get to search so many times throughout your deck in just one turn, potentially. And then, of course, Emery drawing into tons of cards, dwindling down the hand, drawing into more cards, you know, running through those fusion abilities over and over again, uh, fusion system abilities just to draw more cards get them out there. Uh, we're going to have some longer turns for both these players. So I I am guessing here that Emery is most likely going to opt to go first, which is, I, so. I feel like as long as the Battle VIP train keeps up here, Kyle, uh, probably pretty good here for Emery. Yeah, oh, I don't think I see one, though. Oh. Yeah, it is fascinating. You know, everybody knows Mew Sorry. as the deck that just like draws all the cards, plays all the battle yeah. VIP passes. So aggressive. <laughs> sets up every game, super annoying. <laughs> there are a decent number of games where they have an awkward hand where it's like they can get a Mew and then one Genesect and then like one other Pokemon. It's like, you really need this like fusion strike system for one card to be something really important. Yeah. Uh, or awkward scenarios. In this case, maybe a Cramomatic flip. I was about to say that. That looks like what's uh, lining up here. We at least have one Mew V hitting the bench here first. Right. Oh, wow. Discarding the power tablet this for the is cram. Huge. Is that a three? That is a three. That is not good. Oh, that is very not good. Okay. This is exactly what I was talking about. So there's an Ultra Ball. You can get one Genesect V. Maybe draw two cards off of this, but if those two cards aren't good... And, le and you have to decide what to discard off the Ultra Ball, too. So you're throwing away resources as well. It's an ugly discard. It is a very ugly discard. Uh, that Cramomatic was, like you said, Kyle, huge. Absolutely huge. And it did not pay off, unfortunately, for Emery. Emery really would have preferred a heads on that one, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is what it comes down to, and for, for a lot of matchups as well, from you, you, you high roll or you low roll. You know, we saw in multiple games earlier today as well, uh, tails an entire game, and then the next game, all heads. <laughs> yeah. So it's a very uh, risky deck to play. So if you're feeling lucky, maybe p pick up a Mew VMAX deck, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so searching through here off the Ultra Ball. So Emery did discard, uh, it looks like the Fusion Energy, and is that a VMAX, Kyle, I believe? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, of note, Emery only plays two Mew VMAX in the deck. So that's potentially a problem for him later on. We did see there's a, I think a Silene in the deck as well, which you can I did use see the to, Silene last game, yeah. So you can recover a Mew VMAX that you've discarded. It's not gone forever, but yeah, that's potentially painful. All right, here's the three cards. Oh, oh, and oh is well, that another cram? Yeah, this, oh, is, but this is what you experience on the other side so much. It's like, oh. Yes, yeah. They only <gasps> drew a couple cards. Are we oh, they see drew the another cram for another power tab, though? That would be wild. No, you're just gonna. No. Stop there. Yeah, I feel like that's like super risky to do. <laughs> Throw another power tab to a cram, and then yeah. what if it fails? That'd be so Ooh. bad. Oh, <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Emery also fist bumping. The battle VIP is just a shared love of the game here, especially when you hit a turn one. So well played. That's great. So Jack, kind of being able to uh, utilize that battle VIP this time. Uh, as we've been seeing Emery do the last two games. Uh, so g allowing Jack to search out two basic Pokemon straight to the bench here. I assume we're probably going to see kind of the same strategy we've been seeing, although there is the Ice Rider V there, maybe just laying out what basics, basic options we have here, but most likely the Origin Form Palkia and a Sobble. Yeah, it depends on whether or not Jack's going to use Keep Calling this turn. True. Oh, yeah, true, because then you, you got your Sobble secured. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it looks oh, like yeah, Palkia, the, the Greninja. Greninja. Can't forget our Radiant uh, buddy. Yeah, I think ideally you do need to get two Pokemon V into play this turn. Otherwise, Emery could just play, like, a boss's orders, Pokemon catcher, bring it up, knock yeah. it out, and then you have the same position as the first game where there's just no uh, attacker. Yeah, that's like the biggest thing. You almost need to secure your recovery for Origin Form, Palkia. Yeah, uh, and interestingly enough, Jack does only play two of the basic Palkia V. Uh, you know, 3-2 Ice Rider line, a 2-2 two -two wow. Palkia line, uh, relying pretty heavily on that Hisuian heavy ball, but it's hard to find on the first turn of the game, right? Once you get yeah. access to Drizzile and Shady Dealings, you can go find the heavy ball, but... 
on the first turn, you just kind of have to draw into it. So, I don't know. We'll see if Jack's able to get, well, Irida helps as well. That's definitely true. Irida, one of the uh, one of the cards that was teched in as like a four line in most Palkia lists because it is just so, it gives you so much consistency yeah. in a deck. There's so many strong item cards and, you know, the added bonus of being able to search for things like Radiant Greninja or yep. Drizzile, Inteleon, like all, your whole deck is water Pokemon and they're all great. So yeah, definitely. I mean, if you think about like it. It feels like they all <laughs> get you more value. So it's like, it's not just you're searching for a Pokemon, you're searching yeah. for a Pokemon that gets you even more stuff. Exactly. It, it's almost like a another Shady Dealings, yeah. uh, Inteleon, if you, th if you think about it. Just for also a Pokemon, which <laughs> in many times is uh, even better. So... <laughs> That's pretty wild. So much consistency there. Okay, so we are going to see, looks like the Ice Rider V come out here with a Capacious Bucket. Capacious Bucket then searching out those two water energy. Ice Rider hitting the bench there and the two water energy going into the hands. And then we are going to see probably that keep calling here, Kyle, like you, uh, you called. And we're going to see some Sobbles hit the field so even though we did not see another origin form palkia we at least have that ice rider v so there is some sort of attacking recovery that could potentially happen even though we've talked about how you kind of probably want to lead with the origin form palkia but you don't always have that choice but having a uh, full bench here is still a good position for jack to be in especially the three sobbles in play and then we are Back over to Emery after that keep calling, searching yeah. out the Sobbles. Emery just drew a boss's orders. I assume okay. that's going to get played. Still needs to find Real the new VMAX, but has the power tablet, boss's orders. Here we go. There's a quick ball. This is a sequencing turn here, yes, Kyle. This absolutely. is a big sequencing turn. Yeah, the question is, do you throw away Pumpkaboo, which is useful later on against Path to the Peak? Oh, uh, yeah, Emery's just going to do it. Yep, looks or like Or you could have thrown away the Cramomatic and just say, you know what, I was probably just going to flip tails on that anyway. Ooh, <laughs> Emery's, Emery's feeling lucky, I guess, <laughs> trying to hit that heads on the Cram, potentially. I mean, it is such a powerful card, you know? If you hit heads, 50-50 chance, you yep. get to search any card you want. <laughs> but that is uh, not a risk I'm willing to take. Every, every tail or head flip deck I play is never works out for me, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, this is a massive turn, though. If Emery can knock out this Palkia, Jack is in a lot of trouble here. You don't have access to yep. Star Portal. So yeah, this Fusion Strike system. Really it's only big the deal. second one, too. Yep. There's still more potential for more Fusion Strike systems as well from these Genesex. Pokestop? Ooh, that is so risky if you're going to use Pokestop here. With oh, one man. Mew VMAX in the discard already, there's a chance you could discard your second one, and then you just don't have an attack this turn. Oh, oh no, wow. here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, it's Ooh. the first card. Oh, no. Kyle, it hurts. Yeah. It hurts to see, actually. And I think Emery knows exactly what that means. Both Mew oh, VMAX are no. in the discard pile, and this turn that looks so promising just turned uh, into a disaster. Silene? <laughs> yeah, Sally, already played boss's savior? orders, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's just not going to be an attack so this true. turn. Okay, we do see the Cramomatic hit heads here, so yeah, wh what is Emery going for, though? Xylene, yeah. If, if yeah. you're Jack, you're like, oh, Cramomatic, no, here comes the Mew VMAX. Exactly. And then Emery's and then, just going to pass the turn. He's going to be like, what? That was <laughs> so risky. Kyle, oh, my gosh. You called it and it happened. You brought it to fruition, Kyle. So sorry, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Wow, we're just going to have to see the uh, the free retreat into the Genesect in just the pass. Emery looking absolutely destroyed here. Like it's Devastating, yeah. That is very devastating. All right, so back to Jack. Such a powerful uh, thing that could have happened there, and then it just did not turn out. Pokey stop, not in in Emery's favor here. I'm, I'm wondering Fun. if that card's getting cut, you know? <laughs> like, after that. <laughs> Fun the Pokestop and did not like what came out. Yes, exactly. Okay, so back over to Jack here. I'm sure feeling uh, much better now. Not Still having an origin form Palkia. That's uh, nice to see. Evolving into a Drizzle here, activating that Shady Dealings. So we're going to be hearing that a lot this weekend. <laughs> Shady dealings, shady dealings, uh, yep. searching out that uh, that trainer card. What is in the hand here, Kyle? 
I mean, they got to assume Jack's got the tools to pull up an attack here, get a knockout on the Genesec V, and really be in a good position to win this game now. That was everything. Uh, if this Palkia V goes down, I think Jack is in, you know, it's not an unwinnable position, but it's really terrible. And now it stays in play, gets to evolve, you get to use Star Portal, you'll get the first knockout. Just everything has changed in this game, especially since Emery, I think, had to burn through two power tablets already. Uh, also discarded the choice belt to the Kramomatic. I mean, I just, he doesn't even have the tools to get a one hit knockout on a V Star at this point. There's just too many damage modifiers that are already gone. There's no fusion strike energy in play to go with a Meloetta. I just don't know what Emery does from here. It was kind of a, that last turn was kind of all in and then. Everything that went wrong went wrong. Yeah. Pretty much, Kyle. It's almost like a. Uh... The, the tables turned against Emery and was just uh, not favored in this game. And I guess that kind of uh, shows you how unfortunate sometimes a Mu V Max deck can be to play if you are low rolling on the luck here, too. So here we go. Jack still playing through this, scooping up that Drizzile. Yep, it's a nice play. Uh, the water energy goes to the discard pile because you only scoop up the Pokemon. Yep. So then you can star portal them to Pokemon that want the energy, that you want the energy on to attack with. So heads All up play right. from Jack also lets you get another shady dealing. And here we go, targeting Yikes. down that Mew V. Exactly what we saw in the last game from Jack, and we are going to see it again here. Playing to all of the outs, also evolving into Oof. the Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, which is going to give a lot more HP to that. Look at this board. This is Calyrex. Jack's second turn. There's yeah, this four is very evolutions. There would have been a fifth, but scooped it up. <laughs> That's very true. And then we did see that V Star ability go into the Star Portal here, getting those three energies from the discard pile. Mm -hmm. One onto the Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, and two onto that Origin Form Palkia in a very strong position. Emery is almost several turns behind at this point uh, because of that devastating last turn that we saw there. So we are going to see. I mean, at this point though, you play it out, Kyle. Yeah. You know, you you gotta you gotta do what you can do in this point. Right. So if we this are is, gonna see that. Oh this my is gosh. Two tails, no. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, there's okay. a head. Well, I see at least one. Two heads. Two heads. Okay, there we go. My little paper's blocking it. There we go. <laughs> two heads here. Well, that's good. Things are starting to turn around. So two cards from the discard pile uh, get to be chosen by Emery. Any two cards yep. and placed at... Um, well, I know one's going to be a Mu V Max. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Mu the, V Max coming back. The ordering here is really weird, though. That's true. There's, I think, five cards in hand for Emery. So I think there's two playable cards. You can play down and then draw one. So you can safely put the Mu V Max on top. Uh, you could then just put an item on top so that Pokestop will, guarantee, will be guaranteed to draw it. But I think this is going to work out. Emery will have to play a Pokemon catcher, though. So we're going to go ahead and probably see the Pokemon catcher. I would maybe try to go after the Ice Rider and try to hit into that and create an awkward situation for Jack. Um, no, Emery's just going to hold on to the catcher for now. Grab the Mew VMAX and fully see an attack. Yes, that's but very true. What else is Emery going to try to do here? He's just going to try to hit into the active or maybe try to go after the three prize Pokemon and try to get, you know, three prize cards off of two attacks versus two off of two attacks. Yeah, sequencing is definitely going to uh, play a part here as well for Jack for the future turns. But is the catcher. Or oh, we didn't get to see it. All right, hits. Heads, okay, is exactly what you called there, Kyle. <laughs> uh, bringing up that Ice Rider, Calyrex VMAX, and going uh, into a Rotom phone now, top five cards, choose uh, one and put it at the top. I don't know if you noticed, but Emery did not yeah. use Pokestop this turn. It's like, nope, no, yeah. get that out of here. Yeah, no, <laughs> Never more, again. no more of that. <laughs> Bumped it real quick for the Rose Tower, yep. so that happened. <laughs> Very fast there. All right, so the Rotom phone retrieved. I, did you see that card, Kyle? Um, 
Oh, we're yeah, probably about to see it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's going just, to the top here. I'm sure Emery's just looking for more Pokemon at this point. All right, so Choice Belt coming down onto the Mew VMAX to up that damage output as well. Uh, Genesect. Uh, three cards this time. Fusion Strike system. So now there's um, four Genesex out on the yeah. board state, <laughs> Kyle. I think Emery's also out of Mew V. Uh, the Pokestop yep. did discard a Mew V and V Max, which was even no more devastating. So this is the only Mew V Max that Emery has access to, uh, and the only Mew V, which is really important because you can't psychic leap back into the deck. Yeah. Um, because there's probably going to be a two-hit knockout on this Mew V Max, and one of the ways you can deal with that is after you take the first hit, you psychic leap back into the deck but he won't even have an option to do that. I mean, at this point, too, Jack kind of has the options. There's only four prize cards left. Yeah. Potentially just targeting down Genesex, you yeah, know, exactly. as well. Uh, as long as there's still some sort of gust effects, uh, which, of course, we see the, um, I almost call them custom catchers again, but cross switchers, <laughs> yep. more boss potentially. There's yep. already one in the discard pile, I believe. But, uh, you know, if two Genesex go down, that's a that's game for Jack as well. Yep. So there's multiple options here on the board for Jack. Being in such a uh, favored position here with such a strong setup has really helped Jack in these later turns, especially because there's options. There's multiple attackers, there's, uh, there's, Drizz Isles down here, uh, a Sobble ready to be evolved, <laughs> Radiant Greninja, chilling. Yep. All right, so we are just going to see the attack there from the Mew V Max. We got the Cross Fusion Strike copying cross the strike. Techno Blast. Um, one interesting thing, Ice Rider Calyrex V Max is weak to metal, so if you ever did power up a Genesec V, it would be a one-hit knockout. But it's that'd be cool. Kind of tough to do. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very true. The Genesec V, uh, it does have kind of a high cost there, yep. I suppose, <laughs> for the uh, the Mew player. But nice little fun fact there, Kai. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're back over to Jack here. Uh, I believe using a level ball right now. Is what I see. Yeah. So Just grabbed a Drizzile. We're gonna see a lot of dealings this turn. Many dealings. <laughs> All the dealings. All right, evolution incense into an Intalion here. I think the level is maybe already used. Yeah, okay, there we go. Into the discard pile it goes. All right, so we are popping off that shady dealings right now, searching out two trainer cards. Got a scoop up net and a choice belt. Yep. Evolution oh. sense go into that discard. Yeah, Emery does not have Oricorio. <gasps> so we could see the choice belt Leon play. And that would be cool. The Max be Lance. Cool. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just as we said it'd be cool, it happened, Kyle. <laughs> you brought it to fruition again. I love it. <laughs> wow. So with the choice belt and the Leon bumping Oof. bumping the damage output up for both of those, plus 30 on both. Yeah, you that is absolutely wild. Emery all, almost like jolted in the chair when yes. the Leon came down. Yeah, it's like, oh my what, goodness. You play that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like I would almost expect a Leon if I see an Ice Rider. Yeah. Because it's just, it fits so well into this deck. Um, that extra damage output to, be, output to be able to take those one shot knockouts is just absolutely intensely powerful there for the the uh, ice rider player so the damage is perfect it lines up perfectly yeah now emery still not a hundred percent out of this game still going to try to fight for this oh come on just drew the fusion strike energy up that, that's it yeah there was an out to get a knockout there Brutal if match. you draw the Brutal. elisa sparkle get all four fusion strike energy in play but when <laughs> you draw the fusion strike energy emery's just like you know this is not is my not, match. Yeah, that is not lucky. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Get me away from Pokesoft, please. <laughs> so congrats to Jack. Yeah. You know, lost the first game, but then battled back in game two and game three. Um, yep. Hart probably skipped a few beats in the third game, but then, uh, hey, it worked out. Yeah, things just uh, fell into place there for Jack. Uh, it was looking so grim 
for a second uh, from that first game. I was getting a little worried there myself, Kyle. Yeah. You know, adding other Pokemon into the Palkia deck, of course, there's going to be the question of, okay, is it still as consistent enough as I want it to be? But uh, it definitely proved to be consistent enough to beat a Mew VMAX there uh, on, on the big stage, too. So that is awesome to see. I, I, I don't know if I explained it a little bit before, but Ice Rider Calyrex is uh, one of my fan favorites. I love Ice Rider. <laughs> so to see it performing, uh, OK, it does have the partner, the Origin Form Palkia. <laughs> it's uh, pulling a lot of weight in those matches, too. There was points where I was I kind of forgot it was an Ice Rider deck, you know, <laughs> yeah. sometimes. But uh, seeing the combination of both cards and the sort of synergy you can have, especially with that Leon Choice Belt play, is just so cool to see. You love, you love to see it. <laughs> what do you think about that match, Kyle? Yeah, it was an interesting one. Uh, I still feel like Mew is probably favored in yeah. that matchup, when, especially when you go first. Um, like you saw, if Emery was able to knock out that Palkia in the third game, mm -hmm. we probably would have been seeing him celebrate on the stage there. But uh, the curse of the Pokestop, you know? Yeah, I would definitely be uh, on.